This video provides a summary for the CareStation 600 series on how to power on, perform a checkout, setting up and starting a case, and ending a case. Please refer to the user's manual for the complete information on how to operate the system. I'm Lisa Nolan, Global Education Leader with GE Healthcare. For the CareStation 600 series, connect the gas supply hoses to the wall gas source or turn on the gas cylinders. Plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Make sure the mains indicator light is on. Push the on or standby switch for one second to turn on the system. It will take approximately 45 seconds for the display screen to turn on. The power should be cycled once every 24 hours. Complete a daily periop checkout as described in the machine user's manual. The anesthesia machine is intended to be power cycled and fully tested once a day. Prior to the checkout, all accessories that will be used during the case should be attached to the circuit to ensure accurate circuit compliance. When using a GE Healthcare respiratory gas module, make sure to connect the sampling line to the sampling port proximal to the anesthesia device with respect to the heat moisture exchange filter, or HMEF. Follow the on-screen instructions and select full test. The full test is broken up into four parts. Ventilator leak, vaporizer leak, gas controls, and circuit leak. The ventilator leak test checks the ventilator, bellows, gas supplies, and breathing circuit for gas leaks in the mechanical ventilation mode. The patient circuit compliance is also measured. The vaporizer leak test is a two-step check. The test first checks the ventilator, bellows, gas supplies, and then checks the leaks in each vaporizer. The gas controls test checks the flow control valves and gas flows. The circuit leak test checks the bag to vent switch, proper gas supply pressures, airway pressure measurement transducer, APL valve, and manual circuit leak. Use the start case menu to set the case data and start the case. A case can be started using default or custom settings. The case default selection shows the four default case types and the ability to use your last case setting. Each case type has preset values for ideal weight, age, and volume apnea alarm. To select a case default, select a case type from the menu. The volume apnea and CO2 alarms can be left on or turned off. If the volume apnea and CO2 alarms are turned off, they will turn back on once the bag to vent switch is moved to vent. To enter your patient's age, select age. To enter your patient's weight, select weight. Select start case now and start the gas flows by adjusting the air and oxygen flow knobs. Anesthesia devices are not automatically configured to begin mechanical ventilation when a case is started. The devices are configured for both manual ventilation, often referred to as bag mode, and mechanical ventilation. When the device is in bag mode, the device is not providing any ventilation support to the patient. When the device is in manual ventilation, maximum pressure is managed by the adjustable pressure limit or APL valve. If ventilating the patient manually, ensure the APL pressure limit is appropriate for the patient. Mechanical ventilation begins by moving the bag to vent switch to the vent position. Ventilation will begin at the previous configured or default settings. If needed, press the O2 flush button to inflate the bellows. To set your flow rate, adjust the oxygen and air flow knobs. To change the vent mode, select Mode to choose the appropriate ventilation mode for the patient. 
use the comm wheel to dial in the tidal volume or inspiratory pressure and confirm by using the comm wheel or by pressing the quick key. To change the vent settings, select the ventilator quick key for the desired parameter to change. Use the comm wheel to dial in the setting and confirm by using the comm wheel or the quick key. Select audio pause for a two minute audio pause. To adjust your alarms, select alarm setup. From the primary limits and or more limits tab, select the alarm limit to adjust and make the change. Press the comm wheel in to confirm. To close the menu, press the home key, touch the waveform area of the display or select close. To end the case, Set the bag to vent switch to bag and select end case. Select end case now on the menu to put the system in standby. Turn off your air and oxygen flows.